The world's richest CEOs spend millions of dollars every year traveling to business conferences and shareholder meetings. Ultra-rich CEOs like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk own luxurious private jets that they use to travel all over the world. Traveling can be tiring. You have to prepare ahead of time to catch your plane on time, and once you are on the plane, train, or bus, and you run into issues, well, you have no choice but to wait until the journey is over. Let's take a look at how the world's richest CEOs travel. Number 5. Warren Buffett This guy used a bicycle to get around in his earlier days as a newspaper boy. Being eternal like the Queen has its benefits, and Warren Buffett used this to his advantage. He's the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway and currently stands as the fifth richest CEO in the world with a personal fortune of $98 billion. Berkshire Hathaway Incorporations is the largest corporation worldwide and one of its subsidiaries is NetJets, the largest private jet operator in the world. This company sells part ownership of business jets to rich individuals to reduce the inessential expenses that may come with owning a private jet while retaining the comfort of travel. Essentially, it's a combination of Uber and Airbnb, but for the rich. Warren Buffett is a recent convert to private jet travel as he has repeatedly criticized the habit in the past. He then went ahead to buy a Bombardier Challenger for himself, but he named it the Indefensible just to make a point and show that he meant what he was saying. Ultimately, he saw that he needed this means of travel in his day-to-day -day life and renamed the jet as the Indispensable. The Challenger 600 is capacious enough to seat 9 to 19 passengers in its luxurious cabin. The plane also has 115 cubic feet of space set aside for baggage. What's really cool though is the fact that the Challenger has a very low noise and vibration levels. Like we said earlier, Mr. Buffett utilizes his jet on a daily basis and spends most of his time in the air, and according to him, he only drives about 3,000 miles a year. For perception, the average elderly American male has three times that mileage with over 10,000 miles per year, so it's not surprising that he uses his 2014 Cadillac for ground transport, costing him about $20,000 today. Number 4. Mark Zuckerberg Away from the ways of the thinkers, we move on to our youngest richest CEO, Mark Zuckerberg. You all know him as the founder and CEO of Facebook. Jesse Eisenberg plays his role in real life, and he's one of, if not the most, influential individuals in modern-day media. He is the father of all social media influencers and has made it to Time's Top 100 Most Influential People list in 2019. He's currently worth $110 billion, and you may think he doesn't spend a lot when considering that he wears the same gray t-shirt almost all the time. Well, think again, because those t-shirts are custom-made by designer Bruno Cuccinelli and cost around $400 each. And it's the same with his travel lifestyle, bland on the surface, but filthy on the receipt. Mr. Zuckerberg does not own a private jet like the other four richest CEOs. Instead, Facebook handles his travel expenses just as they handle other things, like a security. In 2020, the year we were all required to stay at home, Facebook spent about $25 million for Zuckerberg's charter services alone. On the road, Zuckerberg makes use of modest cars like the Volkswagen GTI and the Honda Fit. The two cars cost about $60,000 combined, but if you think that's all, then you have not been listening carefully. Because Mr. Zuckerberg also owns a Pagani Hawaii that has a market value of $3 million, 50 times more expensive than his other two cars. Zuckerberg, bland on the surface, filthy on the receipt. Number 3. Bernard Arnault Bernard Arnault is the richest person in France, the richest person in Europe, and the richest person in fashion after overtaking the founder of Zorro, Amancio Ortega, in 2018. In fact, he has briefly held the title of being the richest man in the world on two different occasions, when he overtook you-know-who in 2019 and 2020. He is the CEO of LVMH, a multinational conglomerate that deals with luxury goods under fashion, wines, watches, perfumes, cosmetics, and more. 
Mr. Arnal is worth $158 billion, making him one of the five centi billionaires in the world. It's no shock then that he splashed $54 million out on a Dassault Falcon 7X business jet. With Bernard, it's all about the lavish way of living. The Dassault Falcon 7X has three engines and is the first business jet with fly-by wire technology that has a range of 6,000 maritime miles. That can take Bernard Arnault from the LVMH headquarters in Paris all the way to Tokyo without stopping once. Mr. Arnault also has a 333-meter yacht called Symphony that has a capacity for 16 passengers and 36 crew members. It includes a 6-foot swimming pool, a jacuzzi, and a cinema. The yacht costs $150 million and has an annual running cost of 10 to 15 million. Number 2. Elon Musk This guy has had the time of his life this past year. In 2020, his net worth increased from 22 to a whopping $174 billion. On top, Musk also beat Jeff Bezos to the title of the richest person in the world on the 7th of January 2021. Now he's the second richest person and the second richest CEO on our list. He's the CEO of Tesla, SpaceX, and The Boring Company, and co-founder of Neuralink. Elon Musk is quite simply a mastermind with very eclectic projects, and it's hard to tell if he gets it all to his head or if he's very down-to-earth. Aside from naming his kid after a Google-recommended password, he has it everything that's sorted up. He recently moved from California to Texas to focus on the SpaceX Starship project. However, with both Tesla and SpaceX headquartered in California, he still has to commute to the Golden State and other places too and Mr. Musk does his commuting in style with two private jets, the Gulfstream G550 and the Gulfstream G650ER. The latter jet is Musk's preference as the jet is bigger, faster, has a better range, and was awarded a trophy for strengthening business aviation. Both business jets can carry up to 18 passengers each in its cabin, but Elon Musk's planes have been customized to different configurations that suit his taste and comfort. This includes handcrafted chairs, Wi-Fi, and four different areas for dining, working, and relaxing. The G650ER costs a whopping $70 million, while the G550 would cost around $61 million these days. That's an excessive amount of money. When on the ground, Elon is mostly seen driving his more comfortable Tesla Model S, which cost $140,000. And when chilling with his kids, he uses the all-wheel-drive Tesla Model X, which costs an upward of $110,000. Sure, they're his cars, but that's still an awful lot of money. Number 1. Jeff Bezos The moment you've all been waiting for, the richest CEO in the world is the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. The company has stated that he will be stepping down as the CEO of the company in the second half of 2021, and will be replaced by Andy Jassy. Nonetheless, Bezos currently has a net worth of $187 billion, and he has his name written in the history books as the first centi billionaire. He is also the first man to have had a net worth of $200 billion for a short time, before his separation from Mrs. Bezos, which resulted with him losing a section of his stakes at Amazon. When it comes to traveling, Bezos likes to fly in style. Just like Elon Musk, he owns a Gulfstream G650ER, but unlike Elon, who has one, he has two, which cost about $150 million combined. It's no surprise that the G650ER is the business jet of choice for billionaires like Elon Musk, Larry Ellison, and Jeff Bezos. The aircraft already has several speed records and an aviation award for its class as I mentioned earlier. When Jeff Bezos decides to land on Earth, he could be spotted in his Ferrari, his Veyron Bugatti, his Leacon Hypersport, or his Lamborghini Vernino. The entire car collection costs a total of an eye-dropping $20 million. They're all fast and most of them are rare, which sums up the high pricing. But for the richest CEO in the world, who earns an additional $120,000 every minute, this is just considered change in ride. So, there you have it the traveling style of all the richest CEOs in the world. So, this is how the world's richest CEOs travel. 
Please let us know in the comments below what do you think about them? Which one is your favorite? Please subscribe to the luxury world. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.